This morning, NASA's newest satellite designed to measure ice sheets over the North and South Poles is in its permanent orbit. The advanced ISAT-2 launched last month from California. It replaces a satellite that failed in 2009. Since then, NASA has relied on Operation Ice Bridge, which sends planes to Antarctica from South America to study how fast ice sheets are melting. Mark Phillips went aboard for the latest installment in our Climate Diary series. He spoke to the scientists about working at a time when climate science seems to have fallen out of political favor. Too low terrain. The crew on these NASA flights over Antarctica hear the automatic cockpit alarm go off a lot. Altimeter setting. Altimeter setting. It's what happens when you convert a 50-year-old plane into an airborne lab and fly it really low over the Antarctic ice cap. But 1,500 feet is where you have to be for the lasers and radars and cameras to gather the best data they can on what the ice is doing. And what it's doing is melting at an ever quicker rate. Are you seeing less of it? Is it moving more quickly? Is it melting more quickly? In very general terms, all three things you just said are correct. Yeah, we are seeing, in general, less ice. And less ice, mission scientist John Sontag says, means more rise to the world's sea levels. It's not easy being a government climate scientist these days, not when the chief executive of the government rejects or ignores your work. As President Trump confirmed again to Leslie Stahl this week on 60 Minutes. Yeah, but what about the scientists who say it's worse than ever? Uh, you'd have to show me the scientists because they have a very big political agenda. Yet up here they insist they have no agenda. They let the data do the talking, and the data is not in denial. You know, we're not politicians here. We're not policy people. We're just engineers and scientists. I don't know anything about politics, but I do know how to measure changing eyes. Which isn't to say they aren't passionate about what they do. When I look out the window, I just see, like, artwork almost. It's just so beautiful. Lynette Boisvert is a sea ice scientist who isn't here just to look out of the office window. The better we can understand how the ice reacts with the ocean, the better we can be informed for the future of what could possibly happen with climate change. Down here at the bottom of the world, there is no politics, there is only science. And the scientists on board can only gather their data and hope somebody's listening. It's fact. So uh, people can't hide from facts forever, and I think the American people understand that. Your hope is that the science prevails. Yeah, my hope is that the science prevails, and I think it will, because in the, long, in the long path of human history, it always has. Science and hope, 1,500 feet above the ice. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Phillips, over Antarctica. All right, Mark.